This is a volcano that people are used to living with. It's a volcano that was here before people arrived and began to settle. Deep in the heart of Mexico lies a sleeping giant, a captivating and majestic crater that has stood for over 700 millennia. Its fiery temperament has shaped landscapes and cultures, and today we are witnessing one of nature's most awe-inspiring yet dreaded phenomena, the eruptions of the Popocatépetl volcano. How dangerous is this volcano, and why is it just now erupting after so many years? Enjoy this video till the end as we uncover the spectacular mystery of this volcanic crater. The Popocatépetl volcano, known to the locals as El Popo, is Mexico's most active volcano and one of the most active volcanoes in the world. With its height of more than 5,400 meters above sea level, it is the second highest peak in the country. Standing as a sentinel over the Valley of Mexico and commanding respect and reverence from those who dwell nearby. With its snow-capped summit and imposing presence, this volcano has become a symbol of both beauty and danger. El Popo is a scientific marvel that rivals the secrets of Earth's geology and history, and is a part of the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, a chain of volcanic peaks that stretches across central Mexico. But unlike many other mountains, this is a stratovolcano, composed of layers of lava and ash that have been accumulated over thousands of years. This lava comes from the melting of rocks in the Earth's mantle, which is heated by radioactive decay. The melted rocks or magma rise to the surface through cracks and fissures in the crust, forming a magma chamber under the volcano. Since the arrival of the Spanish in Mexico in 1519, history has recorded 15 major eruptions of the crater. Let's go by the paleomagnetic studies of the volcano's rocks and sediments. The volcano has been active for over half a million years and has had periods of sporadic and intense activity throughout history. Its last major Plinian eruption occurred in 800 AD, about 1200 years ago, when it expelled a large volume of lava and ash that covered an area of about 3,000 square kilometers, or 1,158 square miles. Since then, the volcano has had several smaller eruptions that have not caused significant damage or casualties. Geologists say the volcano is the second riskiest in Mexico, due to its proximity to densely populated areas. It is located 45 miles southeast of Mexico City and between the states of Morelos, Puebla, and Mexico, with some 25 million people living within a 60-mile radius of the volcano. El Popo's eruptions are influenced by several factors, such as composition of the magma, the amount of gas dissolved in it, and the presence of water or ice in the volcano. The mountain's magma is rich in silica, which makes it very dense and gas-rich, and this viscosity determines how explosive any volcanic eruption will be. You see, the more gas there is in magma, the more pressure it creates. And suppose water or ice from the glaciers atop El Popo's summit comes in contact with the hot magma. In that case, that'll be a recipe for disastrous steam explosions. Between 1947 and 1994, the giant volcano was mainly dormant, with no recorded disturbances. Since then, the crater has erupted frequently, albeit with some restraint. But recently, volcanic activity intensified in early 2023, awaking Popocatépetl from its slumber. The seismic action of the volcano increased below ground, and vast plumes of steam and gas rose from its crater. The mountain's fiery temperament became evident once more as ash and volcanic debris eruptions painted the sky, spewing molten rock, gas, and ash, enveloping nearby towns, and disrupting flights at airports in Mexico City and Puebla. To understand the 2023 eruptions of Popocatépetl, we turn to the dedicated men and women who study its every move. Volcanologists armed with seismic instruments and unwavering curiosity monitor the volcano day and night. They seek to unravel the mysteries of its inner workings, hoping to gain insights into the patterns and signals that foretell an eruption. Using high-tech monitoring stations that dot the landscape surrounding the crater, such as seismic sensors, gas analyzers, and thermal cameras, 
Volcanologists can gather vital data that help them gauge the volcano's activity levels. Experts collect the information and relay it to a central monitoring center, where experts meticulously analyze the data for any signs of unrest. Thanks to these early warning systems, authorities have alerted communities in the path of potential danger. A continuous increase in gases, tremors, ash production, and thermal energy has characterized a volcano's activity. However, some experts believe that the volcano is unlikely to reach a red alert level and anticipate the crater's activity will remain similar to what scientists have observed in the past 27 years. Still, specialists closely monitor the volcano and carefully analyze its energy output. The steady stream of activity indicates that the conduit system of the crater is still open and releasing energy, which is considered positive. However, the future trajectory will depend on factors such as the influx of new magma and the ability of the conduit to release pressure. Despite the alarming activity, scientists are urging calm, explaining that similar events have happened before and the volcano is expected to stabilize without a major eruption. But according to volcanologist Robin Campion of the Geophysics Institute in the National Autonomous University of Mexico, who has been monitoring the situation, the prolonged duration of the current episode and the continuous production of ash has already led to the total closure of an airport in Puebla, and there is a high probability that it will reach Mexico City in the coming days and weeks. The Legend of El Popo In the foothills of the Popocatépetl volcano, locals have their own views about why ash is recently raining down on them, and it has nothing to do with conventional science. Popocatépetl has long held a place in the hearts of the Mexican people. Ancient civilizations regarded it as a sacred mountain, believing it to be the abode of the gods. These tribes interpreted its eruptions as messages from the divine and performed rituals to appease the volcano's wrath. This deep-rooted respect for it continues as local communities live in the shadow of its volatile nature. To the Mexican tribes inhabiting the area, El Popo is more than just a smoking mountain. It is a cultural and historical icon that has shaped the lives and beliefs of the people around it. Its name comes from the Nahuatl language, which means smoking mountain. It is also known as Don Goyo, a nickname derived from San Gregorio, a saint associated with the volcano. According to local legend, Popocatépetl was once a warrior who fell in love with Princess Ixaxihuatl. Her father, the emperor, promised her hand to him in marriage if he returned victorious from battle. But a rival tricked Iktaxiwato into believing that Popo had died on the battlefield, and she died of grief before his return. When Popo returned and found her dead, he carried her body up a hill and laid her down. He then knelt beside her, and by the power of the gods, became a volcano, spewing fire and smoke to show his eternal love. While many locals believe this story and pass it on as the mythical cause of the peak's eruption, it offers nothing concrete to explain the current reality and why the volcano is fuming. The recent activity at Popocatépetl volcano began in late December 2022 and has gradually intensified. While the energy peaks have yet to exceed those seen in the year 2000, when a significant evacuation occurred, experts emphasize that the current situation is relatively small in geological and volcanic terms. The eruptions have profoundly impacted nearby communities as villages nested at the foot of the volcano have been blanketed in ash, forcing residents to wear masks and protect their homes from the relentless dust. Schools have been shut down and daily routines disrupted, but the resilience and the spirit of the people have shown through as they come together to support each other in these challenging times. While previous El Popo eruptions have undoubtedly brought hardship to humans, they have also created a unique opportunity for the natural environment. Fertile volcanic soil nourishes the surrounding flora, leading to a vibrant burst of plant life, and we're invited to witness the delicate balance between destruction and rebirth unfold before our eyes. As awe-inspiring as the monumental El Popo is, it poses a significant hazard. Should the peak erupt in a Plinian fashion as it did a thousand years ago, pyroclastic flows or density currents a deadly mix of hot gas, ash, and rock could surge down the slopes at any time.
with speeds at hundreds of miles per hour, incinerating, burying, and suffocating everything in their path. Lahars, fast-moving volcanic mudflows, could tear through river valleys, carrying debris and potentially destroying buildings, bridges, and farmlands. Despite government disaster mitigation efforts, nature finds its way to triumph over humanity. Plenty and eruptions are usually associated with silicic magmas with high viscosity and gas content, like El Popo. They are the most dangerous type of volcanic eruptions and can produce a powerful and sustained column of gas and ash that can reach vertical heights of tens of kilometers and magma that can travel up to 700 kilometers per hour. Such eruptions are driven by the rapid expansion of gas bubbles in magma, which causes it to fragment and eject at high speeds. The same type of eruption was responsible for the catastrophic explosion of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, which eviscerated the Roman city of Pompeii. Take a moment to consider the fact that this unstoppable force of nature is what the Mexican government and researchers are tasked with containing. You'd probably agree, it's no ordinary feat. Yet the government of Mexico has left no stone unturned in mitigating disaster. As a precautionary measure, the Mexican government has deployed around 7,000 military personnel in the surrounding states, and school classes have been moved online or suspended in the affected areas. Some major airports, like the Benito Juarez Airport in Mexico City, have been temporarily shut down and flights rescheduled. For you to grasp the gravity of the situation, we should point out that in Mexico, the emergency status of an active volcano is graded using a traffic light system. Green signifies normal. Yellow represents an emergency alert, and red represents the most precarious situation. So far, the government has created an exclusion zone of 10 kilometers within the peak's radius and performed citywide evacuation drills in case of an emergency. On May 21, 2023, the nationwide alert status of the volcano was increased from Yellow Phase 2 to Yellow Phase 3 on advice from the country's National Center for Disaster Prevention. This is the penultimate phase before Phase Red, which spells disaster. As the days and months wear on, we can only hope that the disruptions subside and a sense of calm is returned to the slopes of Popocatépetl. The volcano once again enters a relative tranquility and its fiery temperament is momentarily tamed. But the people who have witnessed these events will forever carry the memories of the raw magnificence, beauty, and horror of nature. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary adventure. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more like it. Till next time!